Hello everyone, my name is MJ Vilches of Doodle Notes and right now I'm gonna be sharing to you my plans and goals for the On The Land project episode 5 while showing you this time-lapse process to time-lapse process of how I created uh, this temporary visual slash early concept of the episode so yeah warning there will be spoilers on this video about the story and a whole lot of stuff about the episode so yeah if you don't want that just you know mute the video or something or yeah if you, I'm probably gonna be giving just a little bit of spoilers anyway and so yeah, if that's okay with you just keep on watching just so you know, just so you'd know what my plans are for this episode, if I did reach reach this point. So yeah, um, the Underland Project Episode 5, which I titled Fanger and Shed, uh, will be an action-packed episode. I think it's a great way to end the web series, series because it's going to be the part where uh, Gregor met for the first time the giant rats of the underland so yeah my goals for this project is one just like the other episodes and to precisely visualize the events in the book uh, watch the previous videos to know more about that uh two i want to overcome more 3d animation challenges on this one specifically for this episode i want to dive into how or, or into the challenges of creating or you know animating and pacing an action sequence so yeah that's one of the animation challenges that i am anticipating um, if i did reach this point because i that's and the what excites me most in the underland project is creating that action part the action scenes you know the underlanders fighting the rats and it's going to be shown in this episode hopefully i do reach this because it's going to be a very awesome uh, experience to be and to create that action sequence so yeah i also want to tackle in this uh, episode how to you know show blood and gore in a subtle way because there will be blood and a bit of gore on this one because it's a fight between the rats and the underlanders so yeah there will be swords uh, piercing through to the flesh and stuff and yeah i want to know how to properly show that without you know without it being too icky so yeah my third goal uh, is well not just like the uh, the previous two episodes I want to really deliver a promise so yeah at this point you guys will probably trust me 100% because I said I'm gonna do something and I did it so yeah after I uh, that's the fourth goal to make you guys trust me <laughs> I guess especially the ones who would give uh, huge support for this project because you know Doodle Notes, MJ Vilches said he's gonna create five 3D animated episode and he did. Yeah, that's something that I want you guys to like to be put in your mind. I want to put that on your mind once I did this episode, if I actually reach this far. But yeah, I really am intending to reach this far since you know this project is really an ambitious one. If you haven't noticed yet, it's a very big project. Um, not many people would think this is possible. Um, I, I've got my doubts, but uh, part of me, I mean, actually a huge part of me thinks that it can be pulled off, especially with the current technology that we have, how accessible 3D animation is right now. If you just have the, the patience to learn it and the passion to learn it, you can actually just create a 3D animated uh, film probably by yourself if you you know if you just have the patience and the passion for it and that's what i'm gonna try and prove in this project and that's why i'm really hopeful that this the project you know would you know reach up to this point up to episode five and yeah that's the th third goal to deliver a promise to you guys um, the promise that i am giving right now which is to create 3d animated um you know five episodes of 3d animated awesomeness so yeah um that's the third goal hopefully uh, i'd be able to like really, really do that uh someday but yeah once again like i discussed on the previous episodes um it really depends a lot on how uh, the first two episodes will work will you know will perform and how i perform as a youtuber so yeah hopefully i you know things would go well and i'd be able to reach this point but then again um, I don't want to make too much promise and yeah uh, for now I'm going to not really assure you that 
I'd reach this point but just know that I will try my very best to actually reach this point because it's not only you know going to be very entertaining or very satisfying for you guys it's also going to be very satisfying for me because i'll be learning a lot from this project something that i could definitely use for even more projects on doodle notes so yeah that's yeah the goal is to just really learn a lot and yeah deliver a promise to you guys so yeah now let's talk about the art um the art here is uh just like the title Fanger in Shed. This is Fanger in Shed. And just like what I said on a previous uh, discussion about the art, this is a temporary concept. Uh, a lot of things could still change, but for the most part, this is how I plan to design the rats on the Underland project. I want to give them, uh, you know, kind of like the face in Ratatouille, but even more fiercer than that. Uh, note that the, the project would be in 3D. 3D, uh, 3D animation so uh, this is just temporary visual if I did reach this point uh, there will be rat models which again will be free to download so that uh, other animators who are a fan of the project can create fan art 3D fan arts of their own yeah this is an initial um, artwork and like I said this episode is going to be an action packed it's going to be the part where uh, Gregor tried to escape from the underland he escaped by himself and then he bumped into these rats and then he was about to get killed by these rats when the Underlanders, uh, you know, able was able to catch up to him. Um, actually, I think at this part, um, this is just something that I want to share, and probably some of you who have already read the book could, uh, you know, could relate to. Yeah, I think uh, at this point, this is Gregor's first rager moment. That's the part when um, uh, Fanger, I think, or was it Shed, that when uh, Perdita was almost attacked by one of the rats. And then he suddenly, you know, went in between them and, you know, hit the one of the rats with the, his torch. So yeah, that's, I think that's the first time he ever had the rager sensation on. So yeah, I think that's all that I want to share for now. Because yeah, I'm probably going to be spoiling a lot. So yeah, that's it. This art is, is you know, about the, the, the episode and this art is about the two rats that Gregor met for the first time. The hunters that had been hunted. So yeah, you're gonna get that if you've read the book. Yeah, that's all that I want to share right now. There will be more arts coming in this project. And probably gonna be discussing more on those arts. Probably not, depending on stuff that I want to share. But yeah, and depending on if, you know, I've ever reached this point. Yeah, that's all that I want to share right now. So yeah, if you like the video, give it a like. Uh, share. Uh, the project to others to other underlander fans and yeah subscribe if you want to see how this project will turn up if i did if i do reach up to this par part you know just subscribe if you want to if you want to know how this project project will turn out also if you want to give me more support the best way to do that at the moment is through my patreon and the link will be in the description or a card will come out check out my patreon page if you like what you're seeing uh, uh, be a patron or something that's optional you don't have to do it uh, like I said on the previous episodes or videos, um, the videos, the episodes for this project will be free to watch for everyone. So yeah, I won't charge you anything for you to watch it. The first five, the five episodes will be for free, including the fan trailer. Um, it's going to be on my main channel. So yeah, if you want to check out uh, my stuff, my works, uh, check check them out on my main channel. Um, yeah, explore Doodle Notes if you want to see, you know, my, how would how. If you want to see if this project really has potential, uh, just check out my works. Uh, most of my works, most of the 3D animations I made, uh, I, I, I've done them myself. Most of them, or some of them, are not really quite there yet. But yeah, the proper purpose of this project is to push uh, my skills even more. So yeah, expect that the, the results of this project would, would be um, more awesome than the stuff that I've already created. So yeah, um, if you haven't read the books yet, uh, give it a read. I'm not paid to say that to you guys um i just really love the books and it's really awesome that's why i'm uh, want you guys to read them to give it a read uh yeah it's really freaking awesome so yeah uh, there's also a written version of uh, what i've discussed here on my blog um if you want to read more about my plans and goals the uh the a link will be in the description below that will take you to my blog talking about it uh, also, a card will come out. So yeah, that's all that I want to talk about right now. My name is MJ Vilchas of Doodle Notes, bringing forth awesomeness to glorify the awesome over and out.